start finding ways how you can live the life you have always wanted to live. You know, just do it. Take that leap of faith. You don't have to know everything right now to figure out if you want to do it or not. It's all about taking that first step. So waking up every morning thinking one positive thing, going to bed every night thinking of one positive thing, that one little habit and you keep doing that every day, that will continue to grow within you. Start giving you that confidence and you'll be able to take back what's yours. Welcome to the Fearless Mom Tribe Podcast. I'm your host, Mary Westcott, a mother, wife, and mom boss. This podcast is all about helping women to build a path to chase their dreams while becoming a greater version of themselves. Every Monday, join me as I will deliver a strong dose of inspirational topics from how to become a priority in your life to creating a strong bulletproof mindset for success. If you are a busy woman on the go who's in need for a simple pick-me-up, a dose of inspiration or motivation, look no further. Come join me on the Fearless Mom Tribe podcast. Looking forward to meeting you soon, beauty. Hey, beauty. I want to thank you for coming and listening this week on the Fearless Mom Tribe podcast. This episode is going to be amazing. I have really been putting in thought about this content here because it is one of the things that I have been struggling with for quite some time now and I'm starting to really becoming better with it. And so I found ways to do so and I wanted to give it to you. So today's topic is all about taking back ownership and start becoming that CEO of your life. Powerful, right? Yeah. But it's a very important lesson because, you know, when you don't actually take ownership back into your life and start living for you, things can get hectic really quick. Things can get tiring, frustrating, chaotic. And so it's very, very important as a woman, as a mom, as a wife, to really take the time and really understand what it means to live for you. Yes, we have our spouse. Yes, we have our children. But also, you've got to live for you. So in today's episode, I will actually go over what it means to take back ownership and become the CEO of your life. What's so important about it? What are the benefits? How can you put it into work? How can you apply it to your life? When and how often should you do this? And if you don't know where to start or don't know how to start, I can give you simple activities, simple advice on how to do so. And we're also gonna conclude on what it truly means on taking back your life and becoming that CEO, that driver, and how important it is. So what does it truly mean to take back ownership and start becoming the CEO of your life? What does it really truly mean? Well, to me, I found out that it really means to get back in that driver's seat. Start taking control of your own life, you know? It's very important to really, like I said, again, live for yourself, Start living for you because if you start living for you, then you can spread all that positive and love that you have been given to yourself to others. And it's very, very important to do so. Instead of living for others, start living for yourself, you know, start doing things that you want to do. Don't do things that others want to do. Do things that you want to do. If you want to go travel, Okay, start looking for destinations to actually go to the specific places that you want on your bucket list. Or if you want to just go to the movies or go on a walk, go do so. Start making your own decisions. Don't let others decide it for you or decide what is best for you. You know what's best for yourself. 
no matter what. As mothers, you know, we'll have those other moms that don't agree with what we do for our children. Don't let them decide what you do for your child. They don't live in your household. They don't deal with what you deal with at home. Don't let others affect you on that, you know? Remove yourself from negative environments. If it doesn't benefit you in the positive way or helping you grow or helping you heal, leave it alone. Remove yourself. And so what I mean by that is if you are somewhere with friends, like if you go out, is that really benefiting you? Are you really wanting to do that for yourself? You know, and nothing is wrong with partying. Trust me, it's fun. But if you are a person like me that actually loves to be with family and actually just spending time with your spouse, then you do that. Don't do other things because other people ask you or try to force you to do. You have complete control over your own life. Remember that. And don't listen to others. You know, again, this all ties in together. Don't listen to others. It doesn't matter of what they have to say because it's not, if it don't benefit you, if it's not actual loving advice or feedback that can benefit you on what you do as a mom, as a wife, as a woman, don't do it. Don't listen. Don't listen at all. And I have been lately been working on my personal development. So I have been listening to great motivational speakers. I have been wanting to expand my knowledge to give to other women. And so I came across a great motivational speaker named Les Brown. And he's such an amazing, amazing motivational speaker. He's awesome. So one quote that he said in his seminar has really stuck with me. And he said, someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. So if someone says that you're not doing that mother job right, and you know that you are, don't let what they say about you to you affect you, okay? Because if you know that you're a great mother and your children are safe and loved and taken care of, don't listen to what other people have to say just because they disagree what you're doing at that moment because it's none of their business. It's not. Haters are going to always hate. Miserable people are always going to stay miserable and they're going to try to get you in that same direction as well. Do not let them. That was one of the things that I struggled with was helping others that just did not listen, you know? So when you buy into other people's opinions or lifestyles, it starts to become you. Don't let others affect you when you are on a journey of self-discovery and working on you and your family. It's very important to really go about what you want. And so I want to talk about why is it important? Well, for me, I've seen as I grew and I'm continually to grow, you gain confidence. You gain so much confidence within yourself when you take back what you want out of life, when you are the driver in your life and make the decisions for you. It starts to increase self-esteem. You start to love yourself more. You start to know more about your self-worth, what you are worth in the life that you're living now. And you start to see the positive environment that you're in and how much people really appreciate you. It gives you more clarity, more peace of mind, knowing that you can do whatever you want to do, whether people like it or not. You are the driver of your life. And I'm going to keep saying that because we have a problem with letting others decide for us sometimes because we want to please them. Never dim your light to someone else's energy. There is a reason why you are shining so much. There's a reason why that God gave you this light. So light up the world. 
sorry for getting spiritual on you. Um, I know some of you are probably not spiritual, but I am. But I'm not going to go in depth with that either. But light up the world, you know, be that impactful person because you are going to eventually be someone's role model in life. And I have experienced that too, where I thought, you know, I was just posting things on Facebook just because or trying to get engagement here and there. And I felt like I wasn't. So until a month ago, a couple people actually messaged me personally and told me that they absolutely love what I post because it helps them continue to live their life. And so you never know who is watching you. You never know who is needing that inspiration. So start really focusing on yourself. Start taking control of yourself in your life because eventually it will come out being more positive for others as well to do the same. You'll be able to breathe more. You'll be able to enjoy life more when you take over what you want to do. You start to understand more about your values, your standards, and who you are as a person. That's how important it is. Those are the benefits when you take back your life, take back ownership. It is not selfish. If people are telling you it's selfish, well, they are not on that level to understand of how important it is for self-love, for self-care, for self-worth. And if they tell you it's selfish, tell them, hey, okay, why do you think it's selfish? And if they tell you whatever answer they give you, tell them, hey, honestly, it's not a selfish thing because you have to fill your own cup before you fill others. You will eventually get tired. You will eventually get frustrated. You will eventually start to become negative. So start filling yourself up first and then spread all that positivity, all that love and then they will start to understand, okay, it is very important to take care of ourselves. You know, start telling people, hey, it is okay to take back your life. Don't dim your light. Don't dim it. It is very important to really love yourself. So how can you do this? I'm pretty sure you're asking, well, You're telling us, you know, get back in the driver's seat, take control of our life and everything. But how can we truly do that then? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do so. Simply say no to things that you normally say yes to. Again, so if you have friends that want to go out that weekend, but you want to stay home and watch TV and enjoy family time or enjoy alone time, simply say no. That is literally the first step of taking back your life is simply telling people no when you normally say yes. Even if they try to convince you or try to force you, keep telling them no. They will eventually get the hint and they'll eventually understand who you truly are as a person and your values and what you stand for. So they will understand, okay, well, she's not a party person now. We understand that now. If you have great friends that understand that, that is the catch to that. But also, it doesn't matter what they think because, again, you're taking back your ownership of your life. So don't worry about what others think either. You know, it's a hand-in-hand situation on that. Stand up for yourself. Don't look for validation from others. Be your own support system, you know? It's great to have support from everyone and anyone, your family, your friends, and your significant other. But I came to realize too, it's very important to actually have support within yourself first. Because in the end, you will always have yourself. So don't lose yourself when pleasing others, when searching for support from others. Don't lose yourself. Because people will come and go in your life but you won't. So do not abuse who you are. Don't lose yourself as a person, as that amazing, strong, beautiful woman that you are. Don't lose it. Build her up. State what you believe in and have full belief behind that. 
have full faith backing that up. So people know who you are and what you stand for. And another way that you can take back ownership of your life, take a day off from work. If you're a full-time worker or part-time worker, schedule a day off specifically for you. If you have children and you know you have family that can watch them, have your family watch your children for that day. Take that day off for you. Understand how important it is for that me time, for that, you know, quiet time for yourself. It is so important, so important. Go outside, get some fresh air, get some sunlight for yourself. And last but not least, don't let the past control you. When you are moving forward and learning to take control of your own life, don't bring your past with you because that is not who you are now. You are turning a new leaf. You are working on that future person that you have always wanted to become and starting to live that way. Don't bring the past with you. It's very important. I have learned this and I'm still learning it. Do not let the past affect you because it's all it's doing is bringing you down and not beneficial for you. And I can actually vouch for that because I used to bring my past with me all the time, but I've learned that it's holding me back. So I owned up to the struggles that I've had, to the situations that I lived, and I turned them into strengths. And I have not let them affect me since then. So for all of the people that don't know where to start, don't know how to start, well, I'm going to give you a couple ways to do so. One way is journaling. Write down how you feel today. Write down how you felt yesterday. What can you do differently today that you did yesterday? Have a reflection moment. And I created a actual 14-page journal prompt that will actually help you with self-discovery and learning more about yourself. I will put that down in the show notes as well. It is a very beneficial thing as well for you. It helped me and I know it will help you as well. Also, writing down your goals. What do you want to accomplish in the next week or the next month or the next year? Have those goals written down. Write them down every day. Write down how you feel every day. Have reflections every week or every month and write those goals down of what you want to accomplish that you didn't accomplish beforehand. Another one, read books. Preferably personal development because it helps you understand your self-worth, your self-love, your self-care, and it gives you more of a positive perspective of yourself and of life, and it's it's so amazing. And if you're not a, a book reader, that's perfectly fine. They have audios of books as well. So... There are options, there are ways to do so. Another way you can get started on this is listen to personal development audios. Listen to people that talks about similar situations that you've went through, that you're going through, and learn from how they overcame them. One person that I absolutely love is Les Brown because his story resonates with me and so I connect with him quite a bit. And it's, it's very important. And so another way is posture. How you carry yourself, you know? Change the way you view yourself right now. Start thinking positive for yourself. Start saying positive things about yourself to yourself. Start acting like the woman you have been wanting to become and start becoming her now. Let people know who you are. When you walk up into that workplace with your head held high, with that nice strut and that having that full belief and faith that has resonated all over your body, girl, (laughs) let me tell you, it is the most wonderful feeling when you walk up in there with confidence, self-esteem, knowing who you are as a person. 
people are going to see that. People are going to notice that she's not who she was yesterday. What happened now? And when they come to you and ask you, tell them, I just found, I just found my new me. I am my new me. I'm not that old person that I was yesterday. From today on out, I am this. I am her. Let people know that. And so in conclusion, I just want to tell you, be you. Go outside of your comfort zone. Start becoming the woman that you are wanting to become. Start living that life now. Don't wait until you have that feeling or that burst of energy to start then. Start now. Start finding ways how you can live the life you have always wanted to live. You know, just do it. Take that leap of faith. You don't have to know everything right now to figure out if you want to do it or not. It's all about taking that first step. So waking up every morning thinking one positive thing, going to bed every night thinking of one positive thing. That one little habit and you keep doing that every day, that will continue to grow within you. Start giving you that confidence and you'll be able to take back what's yours. So take back what's yours. Just start now. Do it now. And so I just want to actually thank you for joining me this week on the Fearless Mom Try podcast. Make sure to visit the podcast website, thefearlessmomtrypodcast.com, where you can subscribe to the show through iTunes, Spotify, and SoundCloud so you will never miss out on an episode. If you found value in this episode, feel free to leave a rating on iTunes, feedback in the comments section, and on the website. If you know anyone that is in need of a dose of inspiration, feel free to spread the word to friends and family. While you're at it, also feel free to like and follow the Fearless Mom Tribe podcast on Facebook and Instagram. Looking forward to seeing you soon, beauty.